Hey guys, my name is Derek Bresky. I'm a photographer based in Los Angeles, California. If you're familiar with me on Instagram or YouTube, you probably know that I love playing with and manipulating light and photography. And with that being said, I'm super excited that Adobe brought me in for today's video because I get to celebrate the International Day of Light with you guys, which is today, May 16th. In honor of the day, I'm gonna show you guys how I love to play with light and photography. And I'm gonna show you some behind the scenes of a shoot, and then we're gonna go onto my computer and edit an Adobe Lightroom in Photoshop. So I am in Adobe Lightroom Classic CC, and what I did is I imported my favorite images from the shoot I just did. So I have a red image and then I have a blue image, and we're gonna edit both of these in Lightroom. I'm just gonna quickly go through it so we can get to the fun part in Photoshop. Okay, so now that this image is edited, we're just gonna copy the settings by going over to copy and copy, and we're just gonna go to our blue image and paste the settings on here so that we have the exact same edit on both photos. Okay, so now that both of our images are edited, we're just gonna select our first one, right click and click edit, edit in Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. And this is reading camera raw format. Okay. So now our image is in Photoshop, and then we can get into the editing part. So what we're gonna start off by doing is go down to where it says background. We're gonna right click and duplicate the layer. So let's start off by naming the background just red since our original image is red. And then we'll name our copy blue since we're making this image blue. Let's make sure our layer blue is selected. And we're gonna go on up to where it says image, adjustments, and then hue saturation. And then this screen should pop up. And I know you can do the same effect from down here where it says adjustments and then hue saturation. But in this case, we're just gonna use this pop up from up here, just because you're editing a single layer in this window, but with this, you're editing both layers. And we just want the single layer. Now in this screen, let's drag the hue slider to the left so they can get more cool tones and you'll start to see the color change until we get to a nice blue. And this looks pretty good to me. So let's click OK from here. And now we have our blue image and then our red image. So what we're gonna do is go down to our blending modes. Then we're gonna go click screen. Then you already noticed that the two layers blended together because blue and red make this like purpley pink tone. And then we're gonna drag the blue layer by clicking on it, and then just take it to the right until it's in a good spot. I think right here should be good. And then what I'm gonna do is clean up the edges because there are a little bit of sharp edges. If you can see, we're just gonna go over to our eraser tool over here, make sure the hardness is at 0%, and I just have the brush size pretty big because the file size is pretty big. We're just gonna go along the edge right here, get rid of that harsh edge. So now that that is done, let's go back to our select tool. And the only thing I don't like so far is these little bokehs that are over her face. So to fix these, we're gonna go to the red layer and then go to our clone stamp. On our keyboard, we're gonna click option and then see how little select tool comes up. We're gonna select right near the bokeh 
and then just tap a few times over it. Then do the same thing and then tap. And then now the bokeh is off her face and it's a little less distracting. So now we're gonna go back to our select tool and we're gonna do the whole process once more with one more layer. So now we're gonna create our green layer because we want the RGB effect. And we are gonna go back to our red layer, right click, duplicate, and then name this one green right off the bat. Then drag our green layer above our blue layer. So now we just have our original image. And we're gonna do the same thing as before. Go to image, adjustments, hue saturation. Then this screen will pop up once more. And now we're gonna go to the right and drag it over here until we get to a nice green color that looks good. So I think right about here looks pretty good. So we'll click OK. Then all of our images are right here. So we have green, blue, and then red. So we're gonna do the same thing as before. Go over in blending mode, click screen. The layers blended together. And now we're gonna drag this one to the left. And then you have your three images right here. We're gonna do the same thing as before. We're just gonna go to eraser, get rid of this harsh edge on the green photo, get rid of this bokeh on the face of the red photo right here. Now that that's done, just go back to our select tool and there we have our image. And I'm just gonna crop this image right here, bring this down just so it's nice and perfectly centered. Right about there, it looks pretty good. And there we have our first image. And then we're just gonna close out of this, save this, and then go back into Lightroom. You notice how the image already popped up in Lightroom so then we can adjust it accordingly. Okay, so now we're gonna do something with this image. I know I said I was only gonna edit one image, but we're gonna edit two, so here's a bonus one. Do the same thing as before, edit in Adobe Photoshop CC. Now that this image is open, we're gonna go back to our first image and do the same thing, edit in Adobe Photoshop. Now image one is back in, we're just gonna drag that by holding down on the screen onto this image. And then we'll have the two images. Like before, I'm gonna name these layers. So now we have our red and then we have our blue. And what we're gonna do is just do the same thing as before. I'm gonna go quickly through this one. Just go to our blending mode, screen. And we're just gonna drag. We're just gonna go back and forth between the layers and just drag them until they're kind of like back to back. And this image is larger than the blue one, so I'm gonna make the blue one a little bit bigger by clicking Command T and just drag it up a bit to make it a bigger, like right about there for the blue one. So we make the red image a little bit bigger so that fills the screen and that they're perfectly aligned right about there. Then we drag them a little closer. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is, like before, is just clean up the edges. So let's go to red, go to our eraser tool, and then just get that edge right there. Now we're gonna clean up the red layer so we have the blue layer selected. It takes up most of the screen, so we have to be pretty careful that we don't do this kind of thing. So what we're gonna do is just go lightly on the side right here, clean up this edge, make it nice and smooth. And then we're gonna make our, our brush a little smaller. And then we're just gonna go in and clean up some of the bokeh that doesn't make sense. Cool. And that looks pretty good to me. So let's just crop this image, make it fill the screen a little bit. And there we have it. So let's do the same thing as before. Just save it. And then we go back into Lightroom. And there we have it, our final images. We have this one, and then we have this one.
Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and be sure to check out the blog post celebrating International Day of Light and highlighting a few of my photography styles. Oh and one last thing before you go, make sure you check out my Instagram and my YouTube, everything's going to be linked down below. But other than that, see you guys next time, bye!